Hi YouTube and this is JTrain997 and I'm back this time with my review of the Bioshock 2 Subject Delta by NECA. Of course this is the main character from the video game Bioshock 2 and he comes with his backpack, his breathing cords which hook onto his main chest plate and while you can't really see it there is an alternate hand down there which I'm assuming is can be swapped out in place of his drill over here. Of course very nice looking on, looks like NECA put an incredible amount of detail into this figure. Of course, a very big chunk of the box taken up by his picture. Onto the back of the packaging. Down here you have some of the other characters available, which were the Big Daddy Bouncer, the Big Sister Little Sister pack, which I really wanted, but um, my Toys R Us carried it for about a week and then they changed their toy section around and now they don't have it. The Big Daddy Rosie and the Lady Smith Splicer. Of course, when I went to my local Toys R Us, all they had was Subject Delta and the standard Big Sister. And his little bio bit says, Subject Delta is a prototype from the initial line of Big Daddies known as the Alpha Series. Delta was the first Big Daddy to be successfully bonded to a little sister, but in a traumatic event, he was violently separated from her. After ten long years, Subject Delta has mysteriously reappeared and found himself with a unique trait among Big Daddies, free will. The Alpha Series is more streamlined and agile than later Big Daddy models, making Subject Delta one of the most powerful forces in Rapture. Wielding a hand-mounted drill and an extensive armory, Subject Delta has embarked on a single-minded quest to find his former little sister and be reunited with her. So, that being said, can't wait to have this bad boy out of the packaging. Let's pull him out. And here we have Subject Delta out of packaging. And just like I thought, NECA did do an amazing job of detailing this guy. Let's get a quick 360 of him. As you can see here. <clears throat> of course, let's pick this camera up real quick. As you can see, the cords plug into his backpack. They both run to the front of his helmet. Just very nice detail all the way down. Yeah, this is one of the big reasons NECA is probably my favorite toy company is just they can put out detail like this. You know, stuff you'd think would be impossible. Um, articulation is also very impressive. Of course, um, his arms go out to about here. Well, it is all a little stiff. Oops. That's one, my one issue so far with the figures that this cord loves to pop off while this one stays in just fine. So let's plug that back in real quick. There we go. Um, one other small issue I have with this figure is this um, waist joint. It's incredibly free moving as you see here, but um, when you rotate it up, as you can see, you can really see um, his joint exposed very clearly, and I'm not too crazy about that. Granted, once it's on a shelf, it's not going to be that big of a deal, but I would have liked to seen some care taken to make sure that didn't show up. Okay, so he bends at the elbow only very slightly. Of course, I'm a little more so on this arm because this one, the drill's a little bit bigger. Of course, wrist joint. Um, and surprisingly, he's got some pretty decent leg articulation. As you can see, he's got a joint at the foot. He swivels at the knee, as you can see there, and rotates at the leg. Um, same for both legs. So, he did come with an alternate hand, like I said, as you can see here, and you actually just kind of pulled the drill arm off here. Cord popped out again. It's a little irritating, but once it's on a shelf, it's not going to be a big deal. Of course, sit that down and plug this other arm in. Um, it's a shame they couldn't have given us maybe one or two guns or maybe make one of his interchangeable hands look like he's got the um he just shot the eve splice it um eve hypo into it and he's about to use one of his plasmids that would have been a really nice little touch but um you know you take what you can get the just sheer amount of detail on this guy is astounding get the light in here a little bit more um he's very accurate does look like he's meant to be holding something though so I don't think giving us one gun would have hurt, you know, maybe the machine gun or the rivet gun or something along those lines, but um, I would have probably ended up posing him with a drill anyway. That being said, let's get the drill out here. So um, I found mine at Toys R Us. Surprisingly, it only ran me about 14 bucks, which is a really good price for this figure. So if you were a fan of Bioshock 2, um, I definitely recommend picking up Subjet Delta. I'll probably go ahead and pick up the Big Sister. Maybe I'll wait a week or two to see if the Big Sister Little Sister 2-pack doesn't come back in. But this is a great figure. Um, only 
a few small flaws. The cord pops out. The waist joint, I think, could have been a little better concealed. And um, maybe a little el more elbow articulation wouldn't have killed him. But still an amazing figure at a steal of a price. So this is JTrain 997. If you are a fan of NECA or if you just played this game and loved it, you need to pick up Subject Delta. And I'll see you soon, YouTube.